last round before the interval is K1 Rules Kickboxing over three two minute rounds. Firstly, boxing out of the blue corner from beyond the black belt academy, Tom Corey. His opponent, boxing out of the red corner from the Eagle Kickboxing, Edward Beyond Black Belt Academy in the blue, Edward Lupu Eagles in the red. Blue gloves for Tom in the blue corner, red for Edward in the red. Black and gold trunks for Edward, all black with the white trim for Tom. The touch gloves. First round kick off the lead leg from Edward, who steps in. Little left knee there from Tom. We've got a release. Michael Sage, then you must release. Push kick from Edward. Tom looks for the left right combination, steps away from the round kick. And then the second round kick just steps back, throws the jab to the body. Jab cross right round as Edward as he steps in. Tom looks for his own jab cross. Steps in with the push kick. Look for the Superman Edward. Caught by Tom in reply. And as I said, these novice bouts can be very exciting as both men look to push forward. Slip there as he kicked there from Tom. Jab cross. Round kick and then the jab again. Edward coming forward strongly, looking to ask questions of Tom. Tom responds, looking to push him back. It's a lively opening from these two men here in the first round. Tom looking to push forward. Chops low to the lead leg of Edward, who throws his own rear leg high and then just pushes out those straight punches afterwards. Tom continues to chop at the lead leg of Edward, who responds in kind, and then throws a barrage of punches in the left knee. Just beginning to get through, it's a good start from the man in the red corner. Checks the kick. Spins with his own kick, Edward, and then throws the punches once more. He'll be warned for holding here at the bell, Edward, but it's a good opening round. I felt for the young man making his debut in the red corner. Tom Porritt had his moments, but I felt that this man, Edward Lupu, did enough in that opening round to take it. One down, two to go. Round two, they touch gloves. It's Tom steps forward, they both throw punches at the same time. I think Tom's corner said you need a big start, turn this around, assert your authority. Both being warned about the holding here. Michael will lay down the K1 laws, no holding, strike and release. Free flowing K1. 
That's the premise behind it. It's free flowing, full contact. But they're novices, they'll learn. They're learning the trade here on a big show with a vocal crowd. Nerves, tension, adrenaline all play their part. Tom pushing forward, looking for that strong start to the second. Drives the left knee in. It's a good start from the blue corner. Looks for the push kick. Edward looks for his own right hand. Left, right, low kick from Tom. Edward looks to respond now. Chops low with that rear leg, Tom. Chops again. Edward steps out of the way. Throws his own low kick, then the rights and lefts. Successful in the first round, not quite as successful here in the second so far. Changing tactics from Tom Porritt. Looking to keep Edward under pressure, and he's better on the front foot. Continues to chop with that leg. Now Edward comes forward, looks to throw those left and right. Drives in the left knee, Tom. And Edward warned for holding again. Mike's keeping an eye. Superman punch from Tom. Looks to close the gap once more. Now Edward responds. The last shot, a high left leg roundhouse. Tom steps in, throws the front kick. Jab cross reply from Tom. Throws his own front kick. Roundhouse off the rear leg from that temporary southpaw stance from Tom. Steps in, throwing the punches. Much better round for the young man in blue. Steps forward again, steps inside that leg. I've now got them around a piece on my unofficial scorecard. My scorecard means nothing. But if it was counting, I'd have them all even going into this third and final round. Everything on my card for them still to box for. So Tom starts the third as he did the second. Overhand right clips the head of Edward. Does so again as Edward comes in. Catches him with the left. The crowd really rising to the occasion now. As Tom looks to pick up where he left off at the end of the second. Putting Edward under pressure. And at the moment he's doing a pretty good job of it. As I said, I've got them around a piece. But I've got the momentum, the flow starting to go with Tom. Oh, the left hook landed. Edward steps in with the push kick, looks for the left and right, but again, the left hook from Tom lands. Looks for the right and left of the body in the round kick. It's a rear guard action now for Edward. Looks for the knee as he holds. A little fake there from Tom, steps in. Slips as he throws the kick. Edward's corner begging him to come in and throw those straight punches that he was successful with in the opening round. He had a really good opening round with punches just like that. That was what gave him the opening round. Push kick from Edward. Tom steps in right left of the body, right roundhouse on the end. Clock ticking on this back. It's another good close encounter. Push kick again from Edward, looks for the left right, he's come back into this round. Tom throws the big left and the right leg. Steps aside, stays in the pocket. Pushes forward, chops low. Edward shakes his head, looks for his own right. Steps away from the kick. Now, I don't like draws in K1. This is a tight, tight back. I'm going for the... I was just about to say I'm going for the blue corner. Tom Porritt, but the MC beat me to it. Edouard's disappointed. I gave him the first, but I gave the second definitely. 